Hey everybody! What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome, welcome back to the channel! So hey, uh, I want to explore with you another concept that Neville shares. And again, if you're new to Neville, please check out my other videos. I do introduce his concepts, but this is also for just general manifestation, whether you believe or agree or follow Neville's work. Um, but I do believe his concepts are very uh, important and if you're looking to advance your manifestations and advance your manifestation techniques. So uh, we're going to explore, this is probably going to be a series because this particular idea is extremely powerful, uh, but it's also extremely misunderstood. And we also need to understand how thoughts work uh, from science and then to actually really, really grasp what's going on. So uh, it's basically uh, buying and selling the pearl. Okay. So uh, you have to understand that we're always tempted. So I don't really like that word because you get the old kind of Christian understanding of, of, of that word. But like we are always tempted to sell the pearl. Okay. So sell the pearl is, and by the way, this is taken from a biblical parable, right? About a man who gives up everything to go and buy the pearl. Okay. And so it, it's a metaphor for people who are willing to give up everything and anything that doesn't serve their end desire. Okay. But what does that mean? Well, let's understand thoughts first. Okay. So thoughts in, in and of themselves don't have power. They just don't. You don't manifest from thoughts, right? You manifest from your body of beliefs, which are fueled by thoughts. You don't manifest from emotions. You manifest from the beliefs that are fueled by emotions, that are informed by emotions, that are informed by memories, okay? So again, keep in mind, you manifest from a state, which is a body of beliefs, okay? And that's very, very important because here's the thing. The more you repeat any pattern of belief, Okay, the more you're rewarded. And if you watch more than one of my videos, you you know where I'm going with this, right? You get dopamine, you get serotonin, you get oxytocin, you get a whole neurochemical cocktail because you repeat it more and more and the brain thinks that's who you are, okay? And so that's why it's hard to break the cycle because you're essentially addicted to certain habits and, and beliefs. And so when the Bible, for example, talks about temptation, it's not about temptation but with some idea of like, are you tempted to have sex with a married woman? Are you tempted to steal this from uh, like a local 7-Eleven gas station, right? It's That's not what temptation is. It's, it's not ethical. Temptation in this sense is tempting and being tempted by the old man, the old way of thinking, right? And so that is ultimately what is being talked about in the esoteric understanding of temptation is what are you tempted by? Because certain thoughts and, and emotions and memories are gonna be way more familiar. That's what temptation is about. What are you giving yourself over to that feels familiar? Okay, because now hear that, because this is gonna help us actually understand how to get and use and buy the pearl not sell it. We don't want to sell the pearl. Okay. That means we're selling our, our, our end desire, what we want, right? What we want to manifest. But the way to buy it is to fully grasp that when we're tempted, which means we're going to be tempted. It's going to happen. Okay. That means while we're changing and while, because this is about change, manifestation is about change constantly, right? We're changing our views. We're changing our beliefs. We're changing our memories. We're changing our feelings. Okay. And so Fundamentally, what's also happening is that you need to realize that a an idea that you keep repeating is going to feel like a temptation because you're going to feel more tempted by that because you know it more. OK, and so you're going to be tempted to fall back, to look back, right, to to be Lot's wife and turn into a pillar of salt, because what is a pillar of salt? It preserves the old man, the old state, the old way of thinking. OK, and so you don't want to do that. Obviously, nobody does. OK, and so. What we need to explore is, again, you to understand that when we, so basically the status quo, let's just talk about the status quo, okay? Because the status quo feels way more familiar, more comfortable, right? And, and again, because we repeated it, we get this neurochemical reward cocktail, right? And so on and so forth. But then also people around us mirror that. So then they think, oh, well, this person is like this. Maybe he isn't a hard worker and then you want to change to be a hard worker or whatever it is. Or you're like, oh, that person's not rich because look, at I can point to them not being rich. Or that person doesn't have their like significant other because look, at they don't have their significant other, right? And so again, that's all part of the temptation. That's all of it. All of that is the temptation to be the old person, okay? So yes, other people can mirror that, right? And so what that is, is a challenge to you to say, okay, Am I going to go in? Am I going to believe this? Am I going to buy the pearl or am I going to sell it? Okay. Am I going to give it up? Am I, am I going to give up my end desire or am I going to buy it? Okay. 
And so people will only mirror where you are on your journey. And that's what they're going to show you. Okay. So then how do you buy the pearl? Well, you have to systematically and actively keep giving up thoughts that feel familiar to you from the old story. Okay. And yes, this is active. Yes, this takes mental work. Even Neville says this in his own words about his own practice in his radio lectures on meditation about how this is difficult. Okay. And so you really, really need to understand this. This is not overnight. Okay. Yes. Be manifesting stuff throughout the day. Be manifesting 10 to 30 different things a day that are small, that don't really matter to you, right? Like a compliment or whatever, right? It doesn't have any emotional baggage in the same way. That will encourage you and, and keep you going, okay? But then when you use this process of buying the pearl, because it is a process, right? Buying the pearl means that you are actively giving up those tempting thoughts, those old ways of thinking, right? The old emotions, the old memories, okay? You're giving them up. That means you're trying your hardest not to repeat them again, not to default, not and and not to give anybody else's interpretations of your situation any power. That's going to be the hardest one. Okay, so how do you do that? Well, how do you buy the pearl when you're, let's say, living with a person that you're trying to manifest a change in or when you're living with parents and you want to move out or whatever it is? So how do you buy the pearl? Well, you buy the pearl mentally. Okay, so, you know, there's a great story of a guy who was able to actually manifest his way from Africa to Canada during the height of COVID by just simply buying the pearl by living as if he was already on campus, even though at dinner time he would sit there and be with his family. Right. And then he would imagine that he was actually in the mess hall. So, again, nobody's asking for like you, you don't need to ask their permission. Can I think about this? Can I be mentally present here? No, you don't have to be. Okay. So then, what what you do is you imagine as you're sitting down at at that table, right? Then you're in the new place. You're in the new apartment. You're in the new life. You're with a new person, right? Whatever it is. Okay. Every time you take a bite, it's 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 eating the new food. Okay. And you can alter those taste buds. That's why you start relying on the senses in here, not out here. Okay, so buying the pearl is doing that. And then every time you walk from room to room, you're actually walking from room to room in your new house, right? Or every time you drive to work, you're driving in that new Ferrari. Whatever it is that you want, you're never, that's what it also means to persevere and persist, right? Persevere and persist in the biblical language. The esoteric language means to bring it with you, okay? That's literally what it means when you look it up. It means each or, or um, one or everywhere. OK, if you go deeper and that's what it means, you're bringing this new aroma of the new self with you everywhere you go. OK, and you wear it like a cloak and you never take it off. OK, and so buying the pearl is saying, OK, I know men like mentally I'm driving this new car, but physically I'm not. Well, if you keep looking at the 3D as more powerful, that's where you're going to sell the pearl. So if you like, OK, I'm writing like. I'm driving this like 1989 Honda, like Civic or whatever, right? I almost said Corolla. That's not, no, that's Toyota. So anyhow, um, if you keep doing that and you bounce between the two, that's all you're going to manifest. You're going to have opportunity to be hot and cold, right? I mean, uh, lukewarm. And you don't want to do that, right? That's the whole message within that that biblical phrase in Revelation, right? You either hot or cold, which means you either just, like it's it's actually better for you to give up your desire, like according to the esoteric mystical language, right? Or it's like, hey, I'm gonna burn with passion for this thing until I get it, because lukewarm, imagination spits you out, which means imagination is not gonna create anything for you. Okay, all it's gonna do is it's it, well, it will, it'll create lukewarm opportunities for you. Okay, and you don't want to do that. So again, buying the pearl is very radical. It's a radical way of thinking. It's a radical way of applying. It's a radical way of giving up things that do not mirror your new intention and your new becoming. Okay. So again, there's way more to come on this. This was this was more of an introduction, but ask questions below. Um, get in touch to join the Discord group. Uh, get in touch for coaching. Um, you know, I believe that you have the power to use this to get whatever you want. I really, really heartfelt do. So uh, much love. And until the next video, be safe.